Kakarikot is one of the best building slash furniture mods in Minecraft ever, in my opinion. So I've been using Kakarikot in Minecraft 1.12.2, pretty ancient, I know, but I've been having a lot of fun using this mod. It's because of how cozy, that how good it feels. You can achieve multiple different aesthetics like cottage core, cabin core, fairy core, dark academia, light academia, and it basically converts Minecraft into a more relaxing, blocky version of House Flipper. Recently, Kiko, the creator of Kakarikot, had announced the newest version of Kakarikot for Minecraft 1.20.4, which I will be covering in this video. So by the time this recording, it's still in snapshot version, so expect a lot of bugs. Let's just jump into the mod. So first of all, you need Minecraft 1.20.4, and then you need Fabric. So this mod runs on Fabric right now, unlike its 1.12.2 counterpart, which uses Forge. To install Fabric, you can check out the link in the description. I'm not gonna go through the whole install installation process. Then you need Optifine and Optifabric. Optifine is required for the resource pack because Optifine has this feature called connected textures and Optifabric is required so that you can basically use Optifine on fabric. So I tried using this mod on Sodium and Iris instead of Optifine. It kind of worked but only for the decoration items. And lastly, obviously you need to install Kakarikot itself. To install Kakarikot, you can go to the official page of Kakarikot. I will put the link in the description. Go to download and then scroll down 1.20.4. It's a pretty huge text. Here we have three options, which represents three different files. You need all three of them. The first one is to replace the vanilla blocks, and then the second one is for the additional blocks. Both of these resource packs are necessary, and then the last one is the mod itself. So you need to download all three of these files, put the resource pack files into the resource pack folder, and then the last one, which is the mod file, will go into the mods folder. So in the end, your mods folder should look like this, and here's how the resource pack folder should look like. So Kakarikot is more than just the furniture mod. It's not like they added a few furnitures and then that's about it. It's a full-on overhaul. Not only does it add more objects, more items, it also changes the resource packs and then it also adds a few new mechanics. It changes the whole look of the game. It even changes the UI. So here, I'm already in the sample world for the vanilla blocks. So here we have a shulker box. <laughs> the shulker box that looks like shelf. It just fits my style, you know? Here we have, uh, I think these are, these are pots. I've never played 1.20. These are loom. You have like a spool and a scissor going on. And then a box, a block of coal <laughs> looks like a box. It's very aesthetic focus. It's more visual focus. So it's not really for survival. So we have different styles of painting. Yeah, basically they just change the texture of the painting to something that is more like vintage and then you have this interesting part which is music disc so you have music discs that look like specimens of leaves bugs that look so gorgeous when you put it on item frames so it's a music disc it's a spider <laughs> it's a music disc and then it's a uh, some kind of a it's a kind of branch but when you put it on an item frame it just looks so gorgeous look at that it's so beautiful okay it also changes some of the textures for wood for example this one is oak plank it looks like more of a two-door house you know it replaces the spruce which is kind of like a bummer because now i cannot use spruce like the regular spruce and look at the fences look at the fence gate this is so beautiful look at this it opens like that and then this one functions differently it's just it's never boring using these mods so i've been using this mod for like oh look at that it's just it's a it's a rope and then this one is a dark oak okay crimson fence and then black warped look fantastic cherry blossom looks this clean white color i think you can use this for dark academia or just gothic and then this one is for a french i don't know like french english medieval uh, like princess type of thing you know and then this one is bamboo look at that other than that it also adds more items like i said there are additional blocks and then you can see there's page one out of two and if you click on it this is not all of them yeah this the whole catalog is almost exactly 
like what you expect from the original 1.12.2 there are a few of them that are absent for example i cannot find like dental molding like there's no dental molding or the lap siding walls i think it's like wrap and or frame they only added this one this is for the the, the stone with white frame i think there are some blocks that are not present yet in this version in the future we'll see more blocks so there are tons of blocks that i wish that were added into this version yeah there's no vertical slabs but in the original version 1.12.2 there are vertical slabs and it's one of the coolest feature one of the one of the highlight i don't think that you can sit on chairs as well so let me just bring out one of the chairs like for example a clear windsor chair so i'm gonna put it here and i don't see i cannot sit on it yet so maybe in the future i will be able to sit on chairs but we can bring out a lamp for example i'm gonna bring out a um, classic table lamp i'm gonna put it here i can interact with it I can turn it on and turn it off. Vanilla Minecraft, I don't think you can do that. Okay, so here we are in the world where I put almost every new blocks. Every single block in this world are new. So none of them are vanilla. So we're gonna go through all of them. So the first one is one of my favorites actually because autumn. So Cockricot has, uh, let's see, plant and nature. And you have tons of new blocks tons of new leaves for example red maple japanese leaves and then yellow and then orange and then green and then you have like fallen leaves block as well and you can see there's such a nice effect you know and then here you have this animated block like this fallen leaves is so cute i love this so much and i use this in the 1.12.2 version and i hope they would add more of it instead of just red yellow and orange that would also put green because fallen leaves is just like one of the best thing about trees in general so you see here connected textures in action you have dirt block and the next to it is a gravel and you can see it's connected i just wish that uh, you can also use sodium but again we have good fps 100 fps so i've never had more than 50 fps using copper cutting 1.12.2 so this is a huge bonus we have even more plants you have like light basket flower pots you have like, like multiple different colors you have black and then orange and then here you have different plants like branch and then umbelata and then cactus gold crest and then monstera let's go they have monstera and then this one is olive it's so nice to have these blocks so you can populate your builds both on interiors and exteriors so yeah we have nordic planter you have antique planter you have modern you can also do modern like you can also get modern look on this using this mod as well like a vase also i don't recall this item on the original version i think this is new japanese tea room vase another japanese tea room vase like two variants i think they look really neat okay we have showcases this is such a nice thing to have in the mod and i just love this and here we have tall doors one of the issues that i have with doors in vanilla minecraft because how short it is it just feels so short it just head just it touches the wall like the upper wall touches your head but now it just feels more realistic so we have many different colors of windows so here you have pink you have red you have orange green blue and then aluminium tall doors japanese it's such a nice expansive catalog and then here you also have the regular size door the two blocks high many different colors so let's see how it looks with the yellow one let's see and i also i also love how it says tall in the original version in 1.5.2 i couldn't really tell sometimes let's see blue and then i love that we also have different variants like what what yo this is a bug okay what about pink what about you pink oh it's a different color for the pink wait what i love this this is pastel let's see how it looks blue what yo I love this color okay so i think we just encountered a bug but i don't really mind this this is like this is such a nice color this one is pink and this one is lighter pink this is pretty i like this so here we have like the sliding door from japan like the japanese sliding doors and then this one is japanese slide yeah sliding doors from japan and then here we have different 
uh, variants of light of lamps or lightings. You have the Morovian. Uh, I think it was called Morovian in the original version. This one is just called Star Pendant Light. And what's even cooler is that you can interact with it. You can turn it on, turn it off, and you have a barber shop pole. Quite a nice touch if you're trying to build a barber shop or a, or a city in which there's a barber shop. This is a nice addition that you can put onto the build. Red paper lantern, and then we have andon. I think it's a it's a Japanese lamp. And here we have even more table lamps. So red stained glass, classic classic table and then lanterns there's tons of different variants of light and then you have like a exit sign this one that you can put on a cafe here you have like this cursive text that you put in a cafe as well and that is one you can put it on the cafe as well and this one is a book lamp and then here you have a ice cream shaped lamp i just really like how detailed it looks there you have more table lamps like desk lamps for your workspace okay so here we have window panes tons of them you can see you have like dark lattice bleach frame and then many different colors like pink blue color gray green functions just like a normal window pane and then you have it's like slabs glass slabs which is amazing look at that different stylings of glass blocks and here you have furnitures this one is a is a massive selection of chairs, the different chairs. This is not even all of them, even more than this. I'm just putting some of the variants like blue and red. And I think you have even more like yellow, like green, yellow, brown, Paris chair, and one a classic and an iron. And then those are also a rocking chair. I don't think you can sit on this. Yeah, I don't think you can sit on any of these yet. Okay, so you have like a resort pool chair. You have like a beach chair. You can relax, you know, you have stools. And then this one is a camp tool, lock stool, so you can put them around the campfire. And then here you have bar stools with somewhat industrial, modern look. And then this one's a normal one. And you have a Japanese floor chair, green zabuton. You have like a cushion. I think it functions like a cushion. You can sit on these. And then here we have tables. A classic table and then black classic normal table and then this one is modern for like a counter you can put bottles maybe this is for a jar and here we have a table with gingham pattern with multiple different colors red brown blue and then you have greek table like round tables that you can put on cafes we have low tables in which you can put decorations on you can put the decorations on a full block like this but you can also put it on a half block which is insane this is also like translated from the original version here we have sofas i don't think you can sit on them as well the way it works you can make it as white as you want it to we have multiple different colors multiple different styles this one is a natural log sofa the one that i often put in cabins this one is rustic log sofa my favorite this one is birch log sofa and then the regular simple sofa resort sofa benches garden benches this is for the diner this, this one i think yeah there we go you can, can connect and like tons of new different models of chairs in which you can choose from not only that we have even more options more furnitures we have chests like drawers, multiple different colors, red, brown, black, retro chest, basket, box, and big wood box. And then the one with the half block in which we have two variants. One of them is like the single one, like the regular. And then this one, you can put it next to a full block in which you have this slanted effect. And you have barrels, three different styles of barrels. You have shelves, bookshelves, which connects upwards. And then you have like beautiful, beautiful stylings, hanging shelves that you can put on walls. You can put it here and then like you can put paper box, which stacks as tall as you can. And then this one is a vintage wood box. And then here we have a basket, two variants of baskets. And then here you have different styles of LP player, record player, you have white, red, um, orange. Wait, what? There are two reds? They're brown? This one is brown? Are you serious? This one is red. This one is red. This one is brown. And then we have yellow, green. Wait, am, I, am I having a problem? Am I? Is it a problem with my eye? Another cool feature is that you can right click on these and you can see it's interactive it's so nice look at that and then here we have specimens glass dome and you have multiple different variants for just one block you can see you have this 
butterfly it is kind of it's kind of sad actually it's kind of creepy probably it, it's made out of papier mache okay this is not real butterfly you know there's no butterfly harmed in this video anyway you have three variants and it depends on the coordinate we have, ahoy mighty we have a ship in the bottle and then here we have more ships uh, an antique ship figure ship figure lighthouse clay figure looks like a voodoo doll teddy bear eiffel and then more options more variants for globes and then here we have hanging decorations like hanging dried flower and hanging beach what with a chain like this and then i'm gonna hang the beach there we go we can put it on the bedroom like lucky charm i'm not really sure how it works i'm not really superstitious but yeah there we go and here my favorite decoration which is the california nice touch onto the onto your bill and it works both sides as well and here we have decorations like glass bottles and this one is my favorite the blue one cotton flower glass bottle brown glass bottle white ceramic and then this is what i like about concrete card which is the box you can stack it see you can stack as tall as you like look at this it's, it's a, a huge pile of books it also works on both style this one is modern book and this one is antique book i think the antique looks better because of how vibrant the color is it's like i love the colors like slightly reddish brown you know and i just love how it looks here you have like the ones that are in line so you can put this on shelves so let's see how it works on a shelf and boop, there we go you can put it on shelves like this. this is such a nice feature then here we have footwears flip-flops boots and then sandals and then we have tissue box and you can also see there's a lot of them like interior and objects you have kerosene heater and then you have laptop see you can laptop here you have retro what is it is it like a spinner or like a rotary phone yeah it's called a rotary phone i think it was my one of my great grandparents had one of these not really sure i've never used any of these yeah this is a lot of them and then we have statue as well here we have statue okay and then here we have one of the coolest features of concrete cut which is the bed i love how beds look like in this mod it feels like a bed you know it feels you know it just feels beefy <laughs> if that's even an appropriate word i just love the aesthetics of these and then you have different colors you have red yellow and then blue and then rustic if you take a look at the the menu you have different styles of the bed frame so for example i'm gonna use like the white simple one i can put it like this you know it's white or i could use something else like a brown classic bed frame see you have two different frames and then you can combine them with different colors for example i'm gonna use the red mattress and i'm gonna use the rustic pillow it's still possible you can put it here and i'm gonna use rustic pillow it's mismatched but it's possible so this is how it's supposed to look like but sometimes i just want to mix two different styles and it just looks it looks even better sometimes let's see log bed frame you can put rustic no rustic there we go but i can put something else like for example i'm gonna use like a regular white pillow see it's possible you can build it yourself without having to build pixel by pixel and then here we have foods which is another highlight of this mod the foods in cockrecot look so tasty cheese pizza cookie jar bread you can put this on like a bakery i usually use this on bakeries as well tons of options you have scrumptious looking pizza pizza and then steak breakfast english breakfast i think toast croissant some drinks like boba boba tea i think american hamburger american hamburger and fast food hamburger and hamburger plate luxury steak oh oh boy yellow tart and then you see what's going on on top yeah that's right those are steam and you can see food steam you can put this on top of any food like for example i want to make this cup of tea hot all i have to do is just pop. there you go it's such a nice feature i love this so much this is why i love using these mod and i never get bored and then here we have more breads like a basket of baguette and we have a rack of bread a shelf of bread a basket and then some produce potatoes like tomatoes and potatoes and some no these are apples tomatoes uh, spinach and then here we have even more options we have drinks yellow drink 
pink drink, blue drink, dispensers, espresso machine, like coffee machines. You have a, st <laughs> have a pile of paper cups so you can take one of these and then drink from one of the dispensers. And here we have like a shelf of spices, you have a shelf of dish, a shelf of jars, a pile of plates and bowls and paper bags. So the possibilities, you can build cafes, you can build restaurants, you can build houses, you can build hospitals, you can build schools, you can build bakeries with these mods. This is why I keep coming back to this mod because of how convenient and how freedom it gives me. We have even more. That's a lot of I'm starting to get exhausted covering all of these. We have different colors for the refrigerator. <laughs> it connects, you know, it, it's like this kitchen, like industrial refrigerator, or you can have like this home refrigerator. You have this sink in which you can build. Like for example, I'm gonna use the green color and then I can combine this with a faucet. It's so nice. It just works. And then uh, this is new. This is actually new. So you have brown piano, black piano, white piano, and you can make it as huge as you want. Like for example, one block. Okay, we're gonna pick two blocks and then three blocks. Now you have pedals. Then he here we have American poster Route 66 and even more posters, more paintings, modern painting, modern poster, and some more wall decorations like deer hunting trophy, cuckoo clock, antique wall clocks, antique paintings, clocks, wall clock classic, some papers, notes, polaroids, like even more, you have fireplaces, like huge fireplace, like white fireplace, black fireplace, you have firewood. This is such a nice, I cannot think of a better adjective to describe this and you can see by yourself like the whole catalog is just is gargantuan and also one of the one of the key features one of the i swear i swear to god this is like one of the most important thing you can put a toilet in minecraft a proper toilet this is a game changer when i saw that you can build toilets using these mods i was i'm sold take all of my money except it's free this is all free all of these are free which is unbelievable you should definitely get this mod if you're a fan of building even if you're a vanilla purist the experience of building using this mod it just feels good and here we have even more uh, decorations like mailboxes and then fences and then we have telephone boxes post box and here we have hanging clothes coat hangers so i'm going to show you one of my builds did I create it using Cockrecon and only Cockrecon? Voila! This is the first house that I built using Cockrecon for Minecraft 1.20.4. Yeah, it's not the best. I'm not really good at building. I'm still not really familiar with the new version of Cockrecon. Okay, so let's do a little bit of tour. Here we have spruce leaves. You have detailing going on. You have climbing rows. Like these climbing rows that you can put on walls. It adds more detail. It looks so gorgeous from, from afar. It just adds more life into the build. And then here I use the dark diamond window pane to make it look antique and rustic. And then here you have a red bicycle. You can put it like leaning on the wall or make it stand up like this. Here you have like a like a window frame with a mailbox and then some plant, wood box, a flower pot, and then nephrolepis. <laughs> I added a lot of details like I built in vanilla, you know, you have trap doors and then you have fences, barrels. But maybe in the future, we will have more options. We have more more detailing items from Parker Cards, so maybe we don't have to do this anymore. Bleached wood pathway, you can put it here, see? Beautiful. Here we have hanging plants. We have two variants of them. Hanging flower and hanging plants. And here we have ivy down. You can put it on, on walls like this. It makes any build look so green to make it look more rustic. Then here we have a pergola, which is one of my favorite. And then you have some plants on top of it. And I have a stack of books on a round table and then some more table. And then you have a small pumpkin. And here we have a bench that we cannot sit on unfortunately and then we have some cushions building this feels therapeutic and yeah i only built this in like 20 minutes let's see what's inside <gasps> whoa wall hacks and it's empty 
<laughs> I purposefully left this empty so that I could make this into a different episode. So let me let me know in the comments if you want. Let's decorate in 1.20.4. After years of using 1.12.2, I, I think we can have a little like a little break in which we can build using Cockercut in 1.20. 93, 97, almost a hundred. I've never had this much FPS using Cockrecut in 1.12. This is fantastic. And all I have to do is just to wait until the full release just gonna be like home. And yeah, I'm just so excited with Cockrecut and I just love it. There you have it. In the next episode, we'll be decorating this house. I'm so excited because this mod, it's, it feels like home. Once you try it yourself, you can really tell why, why I just couldn't let go of this mod. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this preview to be helpful. What do you think? Maybe you want to try it yourself? It's the easiest way to install Cockrecut because in 1.5.2, there's a lot of you guys who found the installation to be quite difficult. But in this version, it's just so easy. All you have to do is just install Fabric and then put the mod and then you're Gucci. This is like the easiest and most straightforward way to enjoy Cockrecut and I think you have to try it yourself. Let me know in the comments what you think of this video and what you think of the mod. And if you watch until the end, you're simply the best. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a wonderful time zone. Bye.